Hey everyone, I'm Agonix here, so this video is going to be a lot longer than my other Halo 5 Forge creations because this time I decided to do 5 in 1, that's right, so I'll be reviewing 5 Forge created Halo 5 vehicles, so these are technically vehicles that were created in Halo 5 Forge, which is what I'll be reviewing today, 5 Forge made vehicles in Halo 5, so basically yeah, these were made by people, and yeah, I'll be reviewing 5 today. So, the first one that I'm going to be doing is... Alright, we'll just wait. So, we're going to do the Covenant Seraph. So, the Seraph is a vehicle in Halo Reach. And, you know, General Kid, he actually made a video on his YouTube channel uh, showing how to actually drive this. You can watch that if you want. But, yeah, so basically, this does look like the Seraph from Halo Reach. And so, it's also drivable too, so yeah, that's cool. As you can see, we are driving it, you know, this does bring back good memories of Halo Reach, and you know, I think it's good that we can drive it in Halo 5. So the person that made this obviously put a lot of work into this because of the amazing design, and it looks really cool, so yeah, this is that, and yeah, so let's get on to reviewing the next vehicle. But you know, just before I do, I just want to say, like, the design is literally amazing on this. I really do love it, you know. And yeah, so anyways, let's review the next vehicle. Alright, so this next vehicle is a dune buggy. And as you can see, this actually does look like a dune buggy, you know. I really do like the design, it looks cool. And it's also drivable too, which is something really cool about it. So yeah, you know, if you want to do like a sort of like deserty, sort of like racing map, you know, this would be really good for that. Except it's really heavy, as you can see, it's just flipping. You know, it reminds me of the Heavy Assault Warthog, how I did a video on that. A lot of people criticised me on how I repeat myself in that video. But yeah, I really did repeat myself in that video, because when I looked over it, you know. But yeah, um, as you can see, this actually does look amazing. And yeah, you know, I really do like the design of this. And overall, it just looks really cool. So, yeah, um, it's really heavy, like I just said before. But, yeah, uh, that's one downside to this. But overall, um, it's amazing. And, yeah, so anyways, let's get to the next Forge-created vehicle. Alright, so for this next Forge creation, we have a Jeep. And this actually really does look like a Jeep. You know, when I first saw it, I'm like, wait, this has to be a Jeep. But, yeah, so as you can see, it's got a warthog meshed in with it, so then you can obviously drive it. And, yeah, as you can see, it's a drivable Jeep. The camera is a bit far back, but who cares? You know, this actually looks amazing, and it actually really does look like a real-life Jeep, you know? And, overall, this is just really cool, and I like how it drives and stuff. You know, it's very drifty, but, yeah, I don't mind it, you know? I mean, I like the driftness of it. But, yeah, it really, really does look like a Jeep. Like, I'm shocked at how the person who made this make it look like an actual Jeep in Halo 5. You know, like, if you're doing a sort of, like, city map or something, you know you could include this in that. You know, yeah, this is really cool for that sort of stuff. But yeah, so let's move on to the fourth vehicle that we'll be reviewing today. Alright, so next up we have a Supply Warthog. So this looks like one of those army vans, you know. It looks really cool, you know. It looks like something that, you know, the army people would ride in the back of, you know. And as you can see, there's like little supply crates in the back as well as I'm driving it, you know. And this would be cool for like an army map, you know. And a couple of days ago, or I think it was over a week ago, I don't, I don't remember. But I remember reviewing uh, this... Heavy Assault Warthog, you know, and I was saying that, that should be in an army map, you know, and if you're making an army map on Forge, you know, this would be really cool for that, so you know, just some ideas, but yeah, as you can see, this drives pretty well, as you can see, you know, it's not like the other vehicles where it's all like drifty or heavy or something like that, you know, it's actually really cool, you know, and I really do like the paint job on this, you know, I don't know what type of Warthog this is, oh, it's a Woodland Scout Warthog, as you can see down there. It says X Drive Woodland Scout Warthog. So yeah, it's a Scout Warthog. And yeah, you know, it looks really cool. And yeah, so anyways, let's get on to the next vehicle. And so for now, we have our fifth and final vehicle for today, a drivable Hummer. So as you can see, this is a Hummer and it looks exactly like a Hummer. And whoa, this is extremely heavy. What? And it just blew up. <laughs> Alright, I'll just have to get it again. Sorry about that. That was extremely heavy. Alright, so let me just get this. It shouldn't take too long. This has taken a while to search. Oh, crap. I just got off of it. 
Alright, um, we'll just have to wait again, and here it is. Alright, so as you can see, it is a drivable hummer. Sorry about that before, you know, it's just that it's so heavy. I never expect it to be like that. But yeah, so as you can see, it is a drivable hummer. So you should be careful of this, you know, this would be good for scenery or something, you know. Don't drive too fast like I just was before, because as you can see, it's very heavy. Even driving like this, it feels like it's going to tilt, you know. Um, it's obviously because it's got a lot of stuff built onto it. And I really do like it because it actually does look like a hummer. You know what, I'm just going to get out because I'm scared it's going to flip again. But yeah, so as you can see, it actually does look like an actual hummer. So yeah. Alright guys, so that's the end of this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Because I'm trying to hit 80 subscribers by the end of the year. And hey look, it's an Oni Scout Warthog. But yeah, so that's the end of this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.